Hi, thanks for checking out this episode of Maintenance Matters. It's one of a series of short videos we've put together to help those people responsible for the maintenance of multi-unit family homes. In most cases, there is a legal obligation to maintain the building if it has home warranty insurance. Failure to maintain your building could limit your warranty insurance. And in strata title buildings, there is always a duty to maintain the building. Following the tips in the videos will extend a building's life and value and can preserve the integrity of any existing new home warranty insurance. Today, we need to talk about avoiding condensation problems in your home. Condensation is the phenomenon that occurs when the warm, humid air inside the house encounters a colder surface, such as a window. When it's cooled sufficiently, the water vapor present in the air will condense on solid objects and appear as water. You've no doubt seen it a million times in your bathroom. You step out of the shower, only to find the mirror all foggy. That's condensation. A little bit of condensation is not a problem as the accumulated moisture will soon evaporate back into the air. However, excessive condensation can result in mold and mildew growth, decay in the wood framing, and corrosion of structural steel. Condensation cannot be eliminated, only controlled, either by reducing the source of water vapor or by removing humidity by ventilation. For people, simply breathing can add the equivalent of 30 to 40 liters of water a week to the air inside the home. Showering and cooking will put 15 to 20 liters of moisture into the air in the same period. A clothes dryer can contribute an additional 10 to 15 liters a week. All this water vapor can raise the indoor humidity to the point that condensation can form on cold surfaces like windows. The acceptable level of humidity depends on the thermal performance of the building's assemblies, particularly the windows and the outdoor temperature. In coastal BC, the relative humidity inside the home tends to be between 35 and 60 percent during winter months. In the colder and drier interior of the province, that number comes down to between 25 and 40 percent. Jacqueline White speaks for the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists of British Columbia. You can tell if the relative humidity inside the home is excessive simply by looking at your windows. If condensation is regularly occurring on the windows, steps need to be taken to reduce the humidity levels in the home. Simple things like shorter showers, lids on pots of boiling water, running the dishwasher less frequently, and keeping the lint trap in the dryer clean will all help reduce moisture in your home. The next step is to improve the ability of the air to circulate. Open the blinds or curtains to allow windows to warm up. Move furniture away from exterior walls to promote airflow, and be sure your kitchen and bathroom vent fans are in good working order and are operating when needed. If after these measures you are still experiencing wet windows, black stains around the edges of carpets, mildew or mold growing, or moisture on the basement floors or walls, it will be time to hire a qualified building envelope specialist who can diagnose the problem more thoroughly and recommend how to proceed to correct the problems. Thanks for your time today. Look forward to seeing you again soon.